Hello, this is a feature video about Nandina domestica, also called the heavenly bamboo, a fantastic uh, evergreen plant. In fact, it is not a bamboo plant, it is a small, medium-sized uh, shrub. This uh, feature, Nandina, is the Nandina domestica Gulf Stream, one of my favorites, including Nandina domestica Firepower. This is definitely one of the uh, shrubs that you can grow in any size garden. So the important features of the Nandina domestica Gulf Stream are obvious from this video. You could see the clusters of creamy white flowers. They come out early in summer and as summer goes on, the bloom is just amazing. The red berries is another standout feature. If you look among the dark green leaves, yeah, the red berries are unmistakable. What makes Nandina domestica a special among many of the garden shrub is the fact that the foliage changes color as the season changes. In spring, the foliage is orange to green, and as summer approaches, it goes from green to really dark green. This video is taken at the beginning of summer. A cluster of white flowers and red berries really stand out among the dark foliage. Now as you go towards autumn, the foliage changes to fiery red. Even in winter, when the other plants go to sleep, the Nandina domestica foliage changes from red to orange. The berries fiery red. Now depending on what type of uh, cultivar of Nandina domestica you grow, they will still produce the same color variations as the season changes. So if you're looking for a small, medium-sized shrub to grow in the garden, Nandina domestica is a recommended shrub, actually. If you have a plant, you can propagate your own Nandina domestica plants. There are three different ways to propagate them. The first method is to use the berries. Berries are an effective way to grow Nandina plants, but it will take a long time. The second way to propagate Nandina heavenly bamboo is from the stem cutting. You could cut off the stem, grow it in a propagating medium. Check out the links in the description for more information on how to propagate heavenly bamboo, Nandina. The third method is by separation. It involves removing a new shoot from the main plant, then regrowing it straight into the soil. You have a higher chance of getting a new Nandina plant. So if you are looking for a small to medium sized shrub for your garden, Nandina domestica is packed full of all the different features, from flowers to berries, foliage, all you name it. Nandina Essence.